this is music and this is Welcome to another haul video. In this video, I'm going to show you a stack of records I bought from a seller called Rockholm. Let's just get down to business. Up first, Humanoia by Acid Rain. Probably my favorite song by this band. And this is also the first 10 inch vinyl in my collection. And it's not a format that I'm going to collect because I think it's a really annoying format, to be perfectly honest. But I uh, love the song. It's a re recorded version. So I decided to, you know, just grab this one. So there you go. But I'm not going to start collecting 10 inch vinyl. I might pick some more up if I find some that are good, of course, or interesting. Up next, more fun than an open casket funeral by the accused. Uh, thrashy, punky, crossovery music. So there you go. Now for something completely different. Culpepper, all dressed up and nowhere to go. It's a Danish progressive rock band, also known as Culpepper's Orchard. Um, and this guy here, the drummer, Tom McEwen, uh, is better known for being an actor in children's movies and children's TV shows, but he's also a very accomplished drummer. So I was very uh, positively surprised to see his face on here because I didn't even know he was in this band, but yeah. Prog rock, all dressed up, nowhere to go from the, I think, yeah, from the late 70s. So there you go. Up next, something completely different again. A reissue this time. Destruction, Sentence of Death. A high roller reissue, so it comes with all the good stuff. Posters, postcards, uh, you name it. So there you go. Uh, high roller records, one of the best reissue labels around. They also... Uh, release uh, new stuff but they're known for their reissues from a destruction reissue to a destruction og or at least a record from back in the day infernal overkill by destruction this one did not cost me an arm and a leg so that is pretty nice up next ravens uh lives of bitch uh new wave of british heavy metal slash proto speed metal or something like that depending on where in their discography you are this is has you know the cover artwork here i love that it's so 80s um it's from the late 80s too but it looks like it's from the uh, i would say the earlier mid 80s but whatever up next some more raven rock until you drop with two signatures uh, i assume they're legit i assume they're from members of the band uh i didn't even know it was signed when i picked it up so that was a positive surprise uh the signatures are not too disturbing here i sometimes think that if you got signatures on the cover artwork that it kind of disturbs the cover art but here of course the photo is so chaotic already that um, the signatures don't really disturb it but pretty cool to have them signed i did not see that one coming and up last here stronger than heaven by storm witch um pretty cool front picture uh she looks awesome she looks awesome she, she looks like she's got a cold uh but i really like how evil these two ladies look uh they come off much better than the guys in the band here. They, they That's embarrassing. Uh, they obviously look like they don't want to wear this uh, outfit and this makeup. Whatever. Uh, Storm Witch, fantastic heavy metal band from back in the day. Uh, one of my favorite songs is from uh, the Beauty and the Beast album. Uh, Tigers of the Sea. It's a pirate song. So they're, they're kind of known as the Adam and the Ants of heavy metal. So there you go. So that is a pretty cool haul, if I say so myself. The first 10-inch, not out of many. 
uh, a signed one that I didn't expect to be signed and an OG probably destruction. Thanks for watching.